What's up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? Welcome back to Role Playing Games. This is Mariel Core 98, and everyone like this because about RPGs. If you like the content, like the video, super appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as well. No one told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. So, <laughs> that being said, Howard's Legacy. This is going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, launch in the entire G in the entire year. Let me clarify, let me be very, very clear before anything else, that I am... Um, it is not my main objective <laughs> to bash on the game, to BS on the game, right before the, the launch. It's just to inform a little bit about something, a situation that I do believe to be unfair to some extent, to some people. It's not really that huge of a deal, but to some people, most definitely, is going to be a bummer. So, uh, yeah, it, it is... We are still, some of us, <laughs> I am going to enjoy the hell out of this game. The people that has had the chance to preview the game has been speaking wonders about it. And uh, I'm entirely positively sure it's because it's a great game. Just all in all, a great game. That being said, today they released the time frames, time windows, and exact, <laughs> actually, times that the games will be available on your time zone, on your geographical zone, depending on where did you purchase the game. So, of course, by all means, if you decided to purchase the game physically, then it entirely falls to your retailer and whoever that sold you the game. When is it that you're going to receive it in your hands? But a very, very popular feature, it's just uh, preloading, preloading games. And as a matter of fact, it's something that I do enjoy, because I, as a video game enthusiast, I like to... It's like... <laughs> it's like Christmas, you know? When you are standing there, in front of the screen, waiting, counting down the time, for example, New Year's as well, when you're counting down those seconds, where you get the chance to play the game that you have already pre-downloaded. That being said, that is the main topic. So, if you were unaware of it, just basics, touch down on, on the basics. If you are an Xbox player, you can already pre-download the game and be able to play it as soon as you get to the time frames. For PlayStation, you will have to wait to the 5th of this month to start pre-downloading the game. What does that mean? Basically, it means that you will get the chance to pre-download the game, so when the release time is finally there, you will be able to play the game without having to download it again, and by all means, I mean, it's 80, 80 gigabytes, gigabytes for most of the platforms, something close to that. And that being said, it is definitely, most definitely a bummer that uh, the time finally gets there, and the time gets <laughs> for you to start downloading the game. So like I said, a very, very popular feature is to basically pre-download the game, have it there in your storage, and wait for that time to finally beautifully arrive and grant you the chance to play those beautiful games that you have so been waiting for. So, this that you have on the screen right now, this is the global release time for all of the consoles in the world for the early access. Now, let's talk about that. Early access means that you're going to get access to the Dark Arts Arena as well as a... I do believe it's a flying mount. Could be wrong, could be mistaken about that one, but you do get a outfit as well. The thing is that with the Deluxe Edition, they also sold you time. Which, I cannot complain about it. <laughs> I would like to, but I did purchase uh, the thing for myself, because I want to have that early access to be able to play the game. And that being said, if you say it like that, they just sold you time. Time ahead of all the people that you will get access to the game. 72 hours, to be precise. And those times that you see right there, those are the ones that are, you're going to be able to boot your game. You can already pre-download it on the Xbox, again, just to clarify. PlayStation, you will have to wait for the 5th of this month to be able to pre-download the game, so that once you get to those time zones, you can just click the thing and start playing. And, uh, well, yeah, that is for consoles. But when it comes to PC, that is where the drama and the foul play comes. 
into play. <laughs> so, these ones are the time. Global access time for PC. That being said, if we go a little bit behind again, the thing is that in consoles you can access the game on the 7th at, uh, at the start of the day. Just uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 12 a.m. And that is when you start to, to play the game, which really doesn't make that much sense. Because, again, I mean, you still have to wait through the night to be able to play the next day. To the next day, but of course it is like Christmas. You wake up waiting to see your gift. On PC, on the other hand, as you will be able to see, these are the release dates. It's going to be 10 a.m. a.m. for PST, Pacific Standard Time, and 1 p.m. for EST, Easter Standard Time. Thing is, thing is, is that this is when you get to start downloading the game. <laughs> that is the bummer, right? That is the bummer. You do not have the game pre-downloaded on Steam, which is a feature that Steam actually does have, right? So I get it. I know it's just PC. There are way many more ways for people to access the game by tampering with the game files, so on and so forth in PC. So I can only understand when a company decides not to actually allow the pre-download for a game but at the end of the day it is also a bummer because for this thing you're paying basically you're paying for time again the looks edition the global release of the game is on february 10th on february 7th we get to play the the people that purchase the looks edition of the game but uh, on pc foul play foul play <laughs> No, well, the thing is that uh, you pay that extra money for that extra time, and it really is not 72 hours, because it's 80 gigs, all right? It's 80 gigs. You you are going to be able to start downloading downloading the game. So uh, there's a lot of people that, for example, <laughs> me, <laughs> that requested some um, UTO unpaid time off on their jobs to be able to play that day. Well. <laughs> Bummer, I won't actually get to play that that uh, specific time. But yeah, I just wanted to report on this thing. Not again that I am bashing against, uh, against this. It's just something that I do believe that people should be aware of. If you actually get to the February 7th and you're looking forward to play the game like all of the other access times, this is going to be the PC release access time, both for Epic and for Steam. So no. We did not get to pre-download a game, and we did not get to play the game as soon as we start um, the time frame for the release time, so on, so on and so forth. <laughs> we do have to download the game to be able to play it as soon as it gets uh, released on the platforms. That being said, like always, if you like the content, find the video informative, like in the video, super appreciate it. No one has told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. A beautiful day now, we see you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one, and goodbye.